hello thank you for watching this video in this video I'll be showing you how to run Ekman model in starter Ekman model is a sample selection model that you can use to run two regression equation simultaneously uh, for you to run a Heckman model, you need first one continuous variable, you need two dependent variables, one of which will be either continuous or discrete, while the other one will be categorical. Uh, Heckman model is a combination of either probit and OLS or probit and Tobit. So, in this, uh, for the purpose of this video, I'll be running uh the factors that influence for instance choice or extent of value addition it therefore means that the person that will add value to a particular product will have to first decide to add value that is a choice model then the second model will be the extent at which the person we add value so to do that quickly I'll use the command Ekman Ekman then uh, the way this program is starter you put the uh, lower list first why you put the choice after so Heckman, I want to see uh, quantity processed. Heckman quantity processed. So I can now say these are the factors that will influence quantity process. Process gender or sex, GH, marital status, education, say marketing experience. And I add total income. All right. The next will be to put this sample selection. So I put comma. Select. Open bracket. So uh, this is now the profit model. So uh, this is what are the factors that affect person's decision to add value so look at the decision to add value so equal the factors now depend on the model specified so since this is just a sample analysis I will just add this just for the purpose of the analysis, when I put close bracket, so Heckman, the quantity process, which is the extent of value addition, the factors that that influences that, then the probit model, and the factors that affect that. Enter. So we just allow starter to process that. Okay, I may have to run that again. I say set that to that set more oh so let me expand my screen and run the same set more oh. Okay, so let me go back to run. Okay. All right. So let me run that again. Let me clear the results window. 
Okay. And okay, okay, it's better. So this is our F1 regression. So you can see the lambda. Uh, the rho is one. Uh, let me see. The lambda is the inverse mean ratio. Uh, so from the results now, you can see that. Uh, Okay, this is just uh, for the purpose of the analysis. Okay. All right. So, so that's the result. You may want to see the marginal effect after running your stata. So to see the marginal effect after running the Heckman model, to see the marginal effect, you can do margin comma y dx from brackets star close bracket and that is the marginal effect so that's the easy way to run the Heckman regression model so you of course you interpret the probit model differently while you interpret the regression OLS model differently. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if this video was useful to you, kindly subscribe and refer. Thank you.